Oh, that's the break there. I know you got to gamble a bit, but he hit him very square. He's going to get a bit of a nice kiss to where he can shoot the two and I think open the three and eight. And I saw the same thing on the lag as I saw earlier from Loho Sum, just a little hard, so that may be still leaning towards the nerves flowing, of course. And I think he can get into this eight just enough. Now, whether the eight kind of contains the three again, or maybe he doesn't have to get into the eight. Yeah, the three's playable. And maybe he just takes the cut shot on the four with the six hanging over the side. Just got to kill the ball here. Yeah, I'm a UJJ. It looks like he doesn't pot, doesn't it? So at first I was thinking, is he playing safe? But yeah, he's just got to spin it in a little bit. A hair of left English, nothing major. Oh, he played the safety, so pretty conservative, huh? Thought he could shoot the two and get into a piece of the eight. But I'll tell you one thing that Fortunsky has done throughout this event is he stayed very loose with the stroke. Really, maybe one tentative swing that I've noticed the entire tournament. Now, we can honestly say, and I think Loho Sun would say the same thing, that we've seen quite a few more from this young. Oh, nice hit to start. Oh, my, my. What a kick shot that is. Yeah, I don't know if he can get at the pink four or not. It's close. Very hard to get the ball to bite in a short manner if he's swerving around, you know, the right side of that seven. Very easy to overcut this. Extension, please. Extension, please. It's almost got to be a slow swerve, which when the ball's far away, is hard to gauge. If it's close to the cue ball, not so much. And I think a pretty good effort. It was just difficult. Pachunski will be delighted with that because I bet he was thinking, is it going to be one of these matches? And he's seen Loho some kick that three in from nowhere. Well, another thing I've been Extension impressed calls. is when things haven't gone his way, he's really maintained mentally, which has been a struggle in his career early. I think men, especially on this side of the pond, know the talent of Fortunsky. I was thinking about him earlier and trying to maybe make a comparison in another sport. Maybe like a John Rahm in golf a little bit. Had an attitude a little, but you could see the talent. A very athletic player with a lot of strength, just like John Rahm in golf. And he's definitely going to apply the pressure to Loho Sum, which actually, at times, that, that'll loosen a player up. I know it sounds crazy, but <clears throat> sometimes when you're nervous and your opponent's making mistakes, you can follow suit sometimes. It happens to all of us. I like that right there. An older Fortunsky might have really tried to jam that to get the cue ball a little bit more off the rail. Oh, my. He let up on it. I don't understand why he shot it so soft. And I almost kind of felt it coming, not the miss, but, but the way he shot it. That's going to unsettle for Tunsky, and it's going to make Loho some. Loho some. Going to make him feel real good. I bet he never thought he was going to steal that rack, but he did. Loho some won for Tunsky. Nil. It is amazing to be in semi final, and I never thought about it. I just watched his uh, first match with, uh, against Jason Shaw. He was a great, great player and very attractive and he made many balls and 
he's very good potting. I learned a lot in this tournament because I never think I can get into the semi-final or even final. What a week this is turning out to be. Yeah, for the young man from Hong Kong. And again, I really paid attention to Fortunsky as he went back to the chair. And the differences I see is as a guy that's thinking about what happened there versus, you know, just let, letting break. the blood boil. Low Summers leading one nil. And of course, he's not happy about it, but but you have to learn from your mistakes, even sometimes in the midst of a match. Some put together a few racks in his biggest win over SVB. Came across the one a little bit. I don't know if the one's going to have a pocket. Now it looks like it's covered up. Looks a little tricky as well. Yeah, anytime the balls, you know, are near the rail like they hard to play the safety, right? There's just really nowhere to go. Now he's got a little bit of comfort with the five and the seven. Would you just nick the one trying to drift behind the, the nine ball maybe? I'll tell you, he could bank the one between the five and the nine back up to the end rail and follow down to this bottom rail maybe behind the nine. I think I just clipped the one trying to drift behind the nine ball. I don't know what he's doing here, really. Well, that's a hard shot to really, you know, command everything that's needed, right? Yeah, didn't like it. I'm not saying he was a, in a good spot, but could have played a push out as well, which the option was there. Extension, extension, please. And there's something he doesn't like too much of. I got him going for this. Uh, it looks like you would want to go for the lower left and maybe tear out the seven. I think you could get yourself in trouble on the two. I like the lower right. Center of the table is very open, drawn into the nine, or even following off the nine isn't terrible, but you tend to pocket the ball a little bit better with the draw stroke here. And that was a pretty calm one right there. Good sign for Fortunsky after a big mistake in game one. Now you want to get tidy on this 5-7 combo. That's a great cue ball. Really simplifies this combo where he put the cue ball there. Missed the combination in this pocket in his previous match. This one he can't just let go with the nine being there. He's got to kind of ease it. Does he have to go some four rails here? Pull in the ball? Or can he easily get by the nine and get above the six? I don't know if that's easy or not. And he's stretched. Okay, nice shot. Letting that bit of check spin take. Well, he's not missing this one, Carl. No, he's the second. He's tied the match up. Would have been 2-0 up, but he'd be more than happy now. It's 1-1. One, one. I'm feeling good. Uh, I played three great matches. I'm happy with my game. It's a good result, big moment for me now. 
but of course I want to win this tournament. I try to don't think about the names and uh, just focus on the game. Of course it's a big tournament that will be nice to be in the final. I will do my best in the semi-final. Yeah, he definitely can't look past Loho some, but he can do a lot for himself if he does go on to win this match. In the manner he wins this match, I think, Steve Pearl, right? Break. To go on to maybe face yes, a break. Joshua Filler. Yeah, there's a few in for tonight's finals. Broke the ball's great one. Man, this table's changing. And I was kind of curious about that side rail there. I really think the other side rail is the, uh, the place to go. What is that, our fourth dry break of the Push event? Maybe fifth? We've been told it's the fifth, and we've had a lot of games played. Yeah, so it's a rare just... occasion, but it will show up. Wow. He left the pot. Yeah. I'm not so sure about this push. I'm not saying it's an easy pot and the two's a little funky. Yeah, you know. I I may have rolled out to a hair more angle. That way it's hard to hold position on the two or harder to hold a position. But if he rolls out down table, boy, there's a lot of balls that you can play an easy safety on up table. So I'm not sure I would call it a terrible push out by any means, but You'd rather not have to go offensive. He's got to kind of smooth it if he's going offensive, though, to hold position. Wow, he passed it. So there you go. And maybe you just have to hit it too easy to hold for the two in the side. Now, the one thing I would have looked at, is there a safety if you didn't like the offense? Can you bank the one between the two six back down to run the cue ball a little bit? Well, he's jacking up. He's trying to fire this in and spin it. Well, I just didn't really fancy it, but... Well, he's made a couple really nice shots coming off the rails, so... But again, I don't know if Fortunski saw... I, th I think there was some safeties there that the either one of the players could have played. Because it was obviously a difficult offensive situation. He could go for the cross corner if he wanted. Well, soft safety, meaning you know your opponent's hitting it, so you just have to wait and see what happens. With all the balls on the table, and there's a few up the top, good things can come from this. Yeah, I thought he may move the ball a couple rails over to the side rail and come one rail on the back of the six is what I thought he might play. Key ball's close. Yeah, he's going to surrender a shot. Wasn't his finest effort, that was it? No, and just didn't come into it at the right angle, it seemed like. If you're going to add that left spin, you really need to aim a little higher diving down into that one ball. Extension. Extension, please. Hit just before the side, coming for the two in the lower left. May draw up there. That's the great speed there. Actually, I didn't think it was going to be short. Tunsi had a corner man, I think it'd be something like, hey, just keep pulling the trigger. You're hitting the ball well. You know, that's, you know, we may not label many like Josh Filler, but this guy's got a tremendous amount of talent.
probably didn't quite to that shot as much as he was trying, but he does have a look at this three ball. Yeah, it looks like straight top English. Wow, that was a lot of speed there. And that's off by some mark. Was he trying to pass the seven? I thought he would simplify it and stay on the left side of the seven. The five does go to both pockets, it appears anyways. Now here, I mean, probably have to play the safety. Bank the pink across, just follow the cue ball underneath the eight. I like the long rail kick here to the short rail on the bottom of your screen. Because the cue ball should continue down traffic. That's why you kick towards congestion. You always want to do that on these kind of shots. And the pink is pretty makeable, believe it or not. He's not even had a look at that, has he? Yeah, I would have kicked by the nine myself. But that's experience, right? I mean... And all it is is percentages. You know, both kick shots could work. But it is a kick shot you get a pretty good feeling on. I mean, the third game, but I kind of feel like this shot right here may get some separation for Fortunski if he can bury it. Ooh, that was a nice one. Yeah, you've been commenting about the lefties all week, and I couldn't agree more. Just something about him. I don't think he has to come for the side. He can hold it with a little draw. He can follow if he wants. I'll play the seven in the corner. And the big key to winning, Carl, you know this, you've won plenty of tournaments, is don't let the moment change your game, right? Change how you would normally try to pattern the balls. Yeah, you've got to try and stay true to yourself. Don't try to run the cue ball for easier shots. That's a, this isn't the level for that. Speed okay. Well, that's ideal. Well, he's already missed one nine ball in this match. He's made that one. This match is boiling. Good.
the big guns are in town for this year's World Pool Masters. Maybe one of the biggest. He's in the final, Joshua Filler. He's sat waiting. This is where we are. Beautiful views. It's been a fantastic week. And it's not over yet. Who's going to win this match to face Filler? In the I final. Can he Yes, for Tunes could have break. Leading by two wrecks to one. So we know fortunity has been breaking okay, but he stayed on this side of the table, JJ. Yeah, well, it's a, you know, it's the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other. This, th th that side rail's gotten him to the semifinal and he's played great behind it, but you have to still pay attention to what's going on with the other matches. And again, he's had one dry break. So you can't be stubborn. Especially, of course, you can't look past this match. He's starting to settle in, of course, it looks like as well. But and Phil has really done some serious damage from that other side rail. Well, I'd like to cut at this, but he's a little funny on the queuing, but it I'll tell you what, I think he's supposed to go for this, really. And that's the reason why it could have been one of your safer shots. Not saying he got the snooker, but did offer a little position. Plus, he was a favorite to make it. Yeah, there's a window there. Loho, some can see this ball. This is a similar shot. I don't, and he avoid the seven. Oh, he's digging on the cue ball, so he's coming around so it, maybe to the back side of the two. caught the two the seven ball so he's gonna have to shoot the two from some distance but pretty good stroke right there on a tough shot now another long one yeah this two ball now it's kind of make or break for loho some if you pot it it's gonna make make you feel unbelievable on the cue if you miss it Went in a little thick, but it's gone. I mean, he's gotten off the rail with the cue ball. I think he can come one rail down. It seems like be not. Those guys can tell, so he may have to go around the five. Still has to do some work in this rack. Solid stroke there. A little short side on the five with the seven over the side. Oh, he pulled it. Nice shot. Didn't know that was available at first. Jump up above for the corner here, huh, Carl? I mean, no reason to go up and down, right? The eight's pretty doable, so. Yeah, you can put a nice stroke on this. Not too hard, not too soft. He's aiming quite high on the cue ball. Yeah, he's put a lot of speed into that. This is going to get a little longer distance and a hair off angle, I think. Now the good thing the eight passes to the right as well, so I think he's hit the ball better when he's let the stroke out a little bit. So may drawing to the left. This is a little tester. And the cue ball finds the rail. What kind of angle does he have? 
Is he catching a piece of the nine? No, he's just one rail by it. Again, don't be tentative. Got a lot of angle on the cue stick here, so can't afford to miss hit on the ball at all. And I'll tell you, he looks like a totally different man than he did in his last against Al Yusuf. Yeah, he was under the gun in this rack. He's pulled out three or four nice shots. Well, Sam he ties this semi final at 2 2. These are low for some tournament stats. Racks played 38, break and run 25%. And he's missed 24 balls. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't expect to get to the semifinal with that ratio, with this, you know, cast of characters we have at the Whirlpool Masters, but. You know, at key times, he put together a few racks. You know, of course, any player has to have a bit of fortune to get here. And he, and he got a, a couple gifts earlier today from Yusuf, Al Yusuf, excuse me. So that combination of two or three things has added up to a 2-2 two -two tie here in the semifinal. Thank you, fifth break. Low Santa break. Two Jim, she's got some fans in the crowd. All right, the one caught the point. We saw that in Josh's match a couple of times very hard to predict what's going to happen in that instance the one always tracking back towards the rack usually and the delicate here i think he goes behind the eight with the cue ball banking the one up and and come one rail behind the eight you're not going to get the one that far up the table but so watch out for some trick shot on the six seven of some sort jump maybe and it just doesn't sit very well to pocket a ball it should be the jump shot though you would think yeah i don't know if he can actually maybe try and make the six he's a, a little high up the table Extension. extension please yeah you had a chance to get kind of wired off the seven but that looks no good as well you try to draw this you know if, if you're good with the jump cue try to bring the cue ball backwards maybe for a bit of a fortunate safety somehow you really can't predict much here i don't think needs more elevation here he's got to go up there it is He may have been playing this. Rolling. Sorry, JJ. Yeah, he may have been playing somewhat of that, trying to shove the cue ball forward. Another safety here, knocking the one away. Could go for the drop behind the back side of the two. Didn't get the track on the one he wanted. I don't think Fortunski can go for this, though. No future. Well, I guess maybe. Does he just push through and play the one down to the bottom rail here? to pocket it and watch out nine ball.
Looks like the one ball goes through this gap. Tip position just came up a little bit. You could almost hear it actually caught a lot more ball than he intended. Can't really afford to leave him much here with the five near. Uh, he may have left him the kiss shot here. Nothing easy, but it is a possibility at least, and I'm sure that's about all he has. Problem is here, you don't want to rifle this ball, right? And the two may come up with the cue ball staying near this bottom cushion with the eight and nine there. There's a lot of a lot of variables on this shot, but. You know as well as I do, Carl, you got to gamble. Beautiful if he made them both. Wow, how'd you like that for a shot? Great Karen and the two vanishing has worked out good for Virtunski. Yeah, he was going to be snookered. Now, if it would have hung, jump shot not too, too terribly tough, but now he gets to level out. Oh, well, he's got to draw this ball. Thought he could make it. Boy, he's solid. Yeah, that was a better shot than it looked as well. Got the cue ball spinning up the table. Drawn past the side. Break has not been kind in this match yet. It's been a bit clustered and we've seen safeties. Man, I think it's time for Fortunski to give the other rail a chance. Assuming he gets these last two down. Both players have opportunities in that wreck, but it is for Chumsky that steals it in the end. Golden breaks, one golden break. Potted 211. Doesn't say how many balls he's missed. That would have been an interesting start. Ninety-seven percent pot success. There you see the flag in the background. Seven balls, I've just been told he's missed. That is a lot less than his opponent. Your buddy Skyler's front row, JJ. Yeah, he's in the building and talked to him a little bit today via messenger. And enjoyed his birthday last night, even though he would have rather been still playing in this tournament. And right, six. Most of our, our players Leading here. By three breaks to two. That must be the uh, the loser's bench. Seemed to be more powerful, isn't it? Yeah, definitely got a lot more out of the rack, and he's going to end up with a kiss shot on the five. 
Now here he's got to kind of ease it, let the one bounce up for possibly a shot. The one in the side or the corner, and he's shaking his head, but I thought initially this kiss shot was definitely playable, and I still think it is. You may have to spin the ball a little bit, but I thought with a heavy right English he could make this. But these guys are at the table, and he's not going to overlook that, so maybe not playable. Now he could cut the one into the bottom of the five and kind of come one rail up the table trying to use the pink. Probably just kind of eases this ball by the by the five. Oh no, he could play the kiss shot and I thought he could. He didn't really apply the right English though. That's why it almost didn't go. Yeah, the right hand spin would have just thrown the purple a little bit wider. Yeah, he actually put left spin on the ball. Almost cost him, too. He's got to come with one Extension, here. Please. And I think he needs to simplify this shot. I don't think I try to really work the cue ball a whole lot, whether I got to take a bank on the two or a thin cut in the side. I don't want to get across. How's he feeling? That was hit beautifully. Another little roll or two would have made this shot a formality, but there you see that wasn't easy as it as it looked. It was a good shot. You can still chop this ball up the rail. Cue ball's going to be moving at some pace. I have to go three times across. Yeah, this is where you kind of ignore getting straight in on the three. Getting to the cut shot on the th on the three is good enough. That's why when you try to get straight in, you can really lose accuracy. And he actually overhit it. Of course, he overcut it as well. That makes a difference. A lot of pull, at least in my opinion, is not about what you want to do. It's more about what's needed. Actually, didn't look that far away, did it? The two ball. No, the pockets are getting a little more snug. Extension. Extension called. With the extension called, that tells me the, the pink four doesn't pass the eight. Certainly doesn't pass the six. Well, at least I don't believe it does. Oh, well, maybe. So he's coming back underneath. Little on the 50. Always lands there, doesn't it? It seems like it. At least it got off the rail for Loho some, and the lower left offers a little bit more of a, a generous pocket. Not much, because he does have to put some speed on this coming across. If he catches the left rail, it may have still gone in, but he did it. Went straight in, so that was a good shot. And really, when he's had to put something into the cue ball, it seems like when he's been his best.
Thank you. Thank you, the seventh rack. We all squared three racks each. Lower sound to break. Marcel Eckert, referee for this match. As he called it, we're tied at 3 3. Some to break. Pretty nasty little kiss on the cue ball. He does maybe have a sliver of the two. It's real close. The only reason I say, I mean, it wasn't a big crash into the cue ball, but it looked like he was going to dress up for a really nice shot on that opening blue two ball. And now he's looking at the rollout. Well, there is a small edge there. Push out, push out cold. Yeah. And the thing about the safety on that small edge, I think the eight might come into play trying to work the cue ball around the table because the nine, you can't hit a bunch of the two ball here when he rolls out. Yes, go. It's your choice. Well, he's kind of a little bit in between here. Remember the rollout he passed on early on the one ball. Yeah, I don't know if he can hit it thick enough to get by the nine and play a safety or if he just has to go for the shot going into the nine, maybe taking a longer shot on the five. May pocket the nine as well. It's it kind of smooth. Nice hit that was. Yeah, what a great pop that was. What do you do here? Are you banging around three rails, elevating the queue, trying to hold the safety? And if he levels out and he goes into the six, he may end up separating the six and the cue ball. Big decision here at 3-3. Three, three. You know, when you have two balls up it, right, you may consider the safety right here. <laughs> Extension, please. Now, the thing is, from this distance, do you want to shove the cue ball forward? You want to try and be very precise. You could go for the three rail make right here on the five ball, actually. Oh, he's really tucked that cue ball nicely. Yeah, what a great shot there from Pachinska. He's battling hard to make this final. I learned a long time ago on this type of shot, uh, the percentages really lay for the kind of mild kick at the five. Not only keeping accuracy, but you'd be amazed how many times you can kind of nick the ball and it lands on top. You, I think you hit it more often. Yeah, the firm kick to me, I think the guys oh, lose sure. accuracy. Oh, and contact. I know it sounds Colin. crazy to slow roll kick, but I used to watch Efren do that a lot in those situations. Start the clock, you know, you bump the bottom of it at the right speed. It goes to the side rail. The cue ball falls to the end rail. You hit the top. Quite the opposite happens. And, of course, every now and again, you make it. Now, he wants to stay above this. Doesn't want to fall underneath him. My opinion, I, yeah, I want to get a little above it. Gonna have to put a bit of speed into this shot now. Yeah, he possesses so much power, though, effortless power, it seems like. Going off the top rail. Now, assuming he gets out here, I mean, if you're his cut man in the corner here, Carl, I mean, do you do you tell him, hey, we got to try the other side? Maybe, but like you said before, it's kind of working okay so far. Yes, 
And one left lead yet again in this match. But we're just approaching the serious part of this match now. And I don't think it was a terrible rollout from Loho Sum, really. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of places to go. Fortunsky had to come with two really nice strikes on the cue ball to get some in a very bad position and grab another lead in this match. Sure is beautiful though. The eighth break. Mieszka Fortunski to break. He actually Leading beat by another four Polish breaks. player in the final in 2012. That's right. There were two Polish players. But I forgot in the which final. Polish player. Well, that's Phil Yates. He'll know. Yeah, he told us the other day actually. Matthias Nogoki. Phil's just told. Me. Oh, did you see what he just did? Switched in a dry break. Wow. Well, he'll be going straight back over to the other side. <laughs> he sure will. Now, he didn't unload on him as much as he did, and, and that could be just because most players fancy one side a little bit more than the other. Comfortable, you might say. But that's a guy paying attention to what's going on besides just knocking these balls in. Pretty easy shot here. And the two does go. Oh, I thought he would cut at that. I really did. Surely no. he's not left it. He might have left All an right. easy jump now if he can just go over the edge of the balls with a yeah. short stick. Oh, he definitely let him see it. I don't know if he was to make it or not, but he definitely let him see the top of it at least, I think. And I'm like you, this is a jump that I would feel, even I would feel pretty confident in. I'd like to play this like the dark jump shot. Extension. Yeah, Extension. well, if it's as, mu it's as much of a sliver as I think it is, you really don't have to elevate the cue much at all. Yeah, I mean, this is just, yeah, you don't need much at all. Just don't overhit it too much. Yeah, and he might even be able to use his full cue. Yeah, you know, draw it in between the two balls to come back. He's yes. playing the safety off the top side. Okay. Got to get the one up. That's good speed there. Left it. They took away the easy kick on the long rail, I think, unless he wants to swerve the ball a bit. And again, he's supposed to kick long rail in this position unless he can get to that side rail. But a lot of good things can happen kicking by the eight. So this is the second time you feel he should have gone long, but he's well, gone short. Well, there's more opportunity this time than there was last just because of the way the balls lay. But you still generally want to kick towards where the cue ball's falling down towards that bottom cushion or top cushion in this regard or this this time around. Well, you got a little look. Is he banking the one across, trying to kill the cue ball two rails up to the top rail? Oh, the one caught the point. That's how pool is sometimes. Can't get it thin enough to make it, but couldn't quite get it thick enough to bank it across. Digging down on the cue ball because you're going to come above the two. That's good here.
wide open center of the table to play position on the pink. With the five near. Just stay away from extreme. Don't want to really make the four ball missable ball. It's not necessary. Maybe hit that a little thinner than he wanted, but he's still okay. Trying to kill it. I think it just opened up, or did he get snookered here? Oh no, he's. I wouldn't say he's. He's got a shot. He's got a zit though. That's the second time he's bumped the eight ball, and the eight ball has gone a little close to the seven. There's still a big gap where he should be okay, but it's just something to think about. Man, you'd say a little bit of a friendly Exception. roll there off the eight. Got to appreciate the confident stroke on the five. He didn't ease it, trying to cue it with a little inside, going back and forth with the cue ball. So confidence growing for Loho some. All right, speed control here, especially if you're coming two rails out of the corner. Needs to bear down on this one. Played a lot better in this match than the previous one. He will have known he simply has to. Seven goes in clean, and that's job done. Four, four. We felt it was going to be a close one. Man, it seems like it's been ages ago, but how big was that first nine ball that was missed by Fortunsky, right? Now at 4-4 four, four, for a guy like Loho Sum that's a new, brand new position here, his debut in the World Pool Masters. Coming off of a rough match, you might wonder, and the saying always is, the hardest game to get is the first and the last. It was that man who won the rack to tie it up. It's now a race to three to see who's going to face the killer, Joshua Filler, in this year's Masters Final. Kelly Fisher sat in the crowd. She's been with Loho Sun all week. I'm not sure if she's coaching him as such, or if she's just here to help him or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll have to find that one. Yeah, well, every little bit helps. And Play nine, Frank. At least, you know. A little something to break. Everything Four rubs racing. off. He's definitely hanging out with a winner. I know that. Yeah, Kelly's cleaning up on the ladies' circuit this year. She's won just about every ladies' event out there. Oh, he's going to love this, I think. Oh my. Well, he may have a sliver of the 
of the left side of the one. Both players, JJ, have just not had much luck off the break. No open shots. And that was a good break, wasn't it? What's he going to be left with? Yeah, I think he's got a piece of it. Now, can he shave it thin enough to get to the long rail? I don't know about that. Oh, I think so, maybe. That's a great camera angle there. And I think it is a little more dangerous than what the camera angle is telling us right now. He can't really, you know, kind of, I think he can hit more of the one than we think. But he can't really move the one much with the eight being there, so. I kind of feel like he can still shave the one and come a couple rails. He's curving the ball. Yeah, and you just have to consider the push out before, you know, that's 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 why the push out's there, so you don't have to take something extremely low percentage. You think he was trying to kind of mass say draw it in the five seven, maybe? Well, whatever he was doing, I didn't like it. I think that of that wouldn't have even entered my head this worth shot there. I don't know what he was thinking, to be honest. Extension. I just thought Extension, play off it thin. Yeah, I thought it was doable to, to shave it and come two rails behind the five. Yeah. Now, maybe the five goes in the right side. I'm not sure if it has the left upper corner. The four's in a funny position. Rack of the match so far at 4-4. Four, four. That might have been the one time I come down for the side pocket right there, just because straight in on the side offers drawing back. Any angle really offers getting on the four. And it's pretty crucial you get on the four pretty well to get on the five. Generally, I wouldn't pass position to play another position. He needs a little bounce. Yeesh. That's ugly. Yeah, this doesn't go in the left side, does it? I mean, doesn't is a hard word, but I don't think you can put much speed on it if it has a chance to the side at all. May have to just go forward trying to just get the cue ball off the rail as best he can for maybe a cross side bank. Now, if he's going to roll forward for the safety, if he lands odd, oddly, he could be in trouble. I like this. I mean, from where he was. Top English bank on this table. Go ahead and put a little stroke on it. You know, rolling it. Very hard to predict how it's going to come off that side rail. This is a big shot now. Is the bank in? It is in. The seven's okay. It's sat on the eight, but he can see the potting angle. It goes. He's yeah. okay. Good shot. Boy, what a nice field stroke that was. The ball really held its line. He deserved this. What, a, what an out. He's got to throw this in just a touch. That way he doesn't get a ton of contact on the eight, just a little bit. All right. Remember game one. You can handle a little more of a cut. I stay off the rail. I, I would much much rather be a little above this nine with a little cut than over there on the rail with the cue ball. That's just me, anyways. That'll do.
Mieszka początku. The sun is setting here in Gibraltar. What a phenomenal view that is. The weather has been fantastic all week and so has the pool. We all know Joshua Filler is in the final. Thank you, it's rack 10. Jesko Fototsky to break, leading by five frecks to four. Will it be this man at the table who joins him? Oh, he did immediately go back to that right side rail. Kind of crossed it over it. Nine Ooh. ball rocketing up table. But again, JJ, look, no real open table. And it's funny, that's just uh, pool sometimes. Josh, who made the one on the break quite often in the last match, and had to depend on where the two or the three or whatever the lowest number ball ended up and it worked out here not making the one very much but not coming away with the shot that has some safety opportunities though he loves this
difficult kick shot because he can't. Anytime you can't follow that same path, the one ball tracked on, he's going to have to go Extension cold. up to the top rail. Really needs to involve the right side rail, and this is almost kind of like a ball you make sometimes or you scratch off of it. Yeah, he's just got to find the rail just after the pocket. Oh, good hit, good effort. Yeah, very good show indeed. Yeah, and very good speed, like the premium speed, in my opinion, on getting some different and good results. And it's funny, Fortunski's played some safeties. He's had a little bit of opportunities to, to get a two-game lead here the last four Extension. or five games, Extension, really, and please. just, right? Loho Sums just doing what it takes to stay right in it. Yeah, this ball will cut, I believe. It's a little thin one. It's a little tester. Cue ball's going to be traveling. Two balls towards the top left. One of his strengths, though, knocking him in. And what happens is that you can learn from him and the last guy that won and got into our final is even though he's thin and even though he's some ways away from it, you'll see a lot of players put a lot more unnecessary speed on that shot and really lose accuracy. He just stay with that nice medium stroke and a little unfortunate not to get a little more on the two. Does it go. Oh, he just didn't play it. He's missed his mark badly. Yeah, that was not a good shot from Fatunski. Is the end of this match? Is the pressure? Of course, it's starting to build. Filler's having a nice sit down somewhere in the building with his feet up, relaxing, watching these pair sweat it out. Q ball is going to be a little hot, obviously. Well, he almost, you could say, deserved a little bit of that roll. Yeah, it was a good pot. Wasn't sure where it was going to finish, but it's finished out lovely. It really has. Yeah, center cut, it looked like. You can draw this, you can stun it out. I'm not in love with follow with the ball so close to the pocket, it could kind of hook on you, but. Yeah, a little let up. Just a mild let up. And not so much a let up, but what happens is when you're stretched, you just don't get into the ball quite as good. So you almost have to remind yourself when you're stretched, put a little more into it. Big test coming up in his previous match. He missed a lot of balls. That was better though, right in the heart of the pocket. Definitely playing better in this match. That was what I'm saying. And of course, Loho Sun wins the rack to tie the match up yet again. Yeah, and I'm not sure if it's exactly right, but I think from 2 2, no one's had serve. Which we haven't seen any of that in this event. And it's now a race to two. 25,000 US dollars for the winner.
of this year's Masters. Loser of this match will walk away with 7,500. But it's all about the trophy. She is. Nice piece of glassware. Thank you, the 11th break. Lower sum to break. Five breaks each. So, are we going to see an open table yet? An open shot on the lowest ball after the break. Just hasn't happened yet. Here comes the one. Yeah, may get it over the eight. No, he's okay. Just got to pinch the cue ball between the seven, seven and nine to get started and possibly his first lead. Well, not his first lead. He did lead at one zero. These are very playable. Just needs a bit of a tidy cue ball to get started. Looks like he's going to have to go off the top rail now and back down. I think so. If he can hold it, he will play that shot. Yeah. Definitely would rather hold it. This is delicate, though. Believe it or not. Okay. Somehow, not somehow, but he traveled a long way to get just absolutely perfect. Just to slide over for the four, having the five near. bit of a kill shot here you can kind of drag it if you want you can roll it with a little right English Extension, please. Extension, please. Yeah, the extension is there for a reason. Might as well use it. Drawing back for the side pocket, needs to keep rolling. You don't want to land a little funny on this eight ball and start leaving a twitchy nine. I think he's the angle's just small enough to move across pretty easily. He's on the hill. What a time for your first break and run in this match. Yeah, the heat's on and 
you know, almost always you would like to have a shot or two back, but Bertunski hasn't played poorly, but no player has got to really get going. Like you said, they haven't had shots after the break offensively. There's our match stats. Zero breaking runs for Fortunski. Only two missed pots for low, though. Much different than what we've seen in his previous match. Yeah, five for Fortunski. Yeah. I think some of those were very difficult plays, of course, but safety errors, that's a big number for, for low. But I think the one missed pot that we will all look back on in a a, a good or, or not so good manner is that first nine ball. After having a kind of a rough quarterfinal for Loho Sum, getting on the board early in this match, that was huge. Yeah, miss that nine ball. Could be big. Could be really big. Thank you, rack number 12. Loho Sum is breaking on the hill, leading by six racks to five. He's, bro he's broke well in this match. What he would give for an easy split now and a shot on the lowest ball. Uh, kick on the cue ball. It's going to need another kiss and it didn't. So it's going to be a long distance shot on the one. But he does have a play. Yeah, he's putting his hand up in the air, but you've got a shot. You make it. Yeah, and if he recognizes here. You know, go ahead and put a stroke on this and get behind the two. I don't think the ball will hang. It will either go in or get away from the pocket. And I wouldn't say there's a total safety here, but definitely percentages on Loho some side. I don't like ease in this one too much, Carl. About a nice medium, aggressive medium. Yeah, he's playing for the two in the same pocket. Yeah, that's what I mean. From that angle, you go ahead and put a little on it, you can drive that ball in even if it's not perfect. Now, is he falling pretty straight here? Looks like it. Extension. So, the Extension. three to the four, very difficult. The good thing is if he does get on the Four, whether it's up in the long pocket or the short, the five's over the side. So here, don't try to get too close. I would just make sure I maintain the angle to this right side rail. Can he get out in the center of the table easily? That's a good place also. Okay, may bounce a little much. He's all right. So as slow as that cue ball moved and as firm as he struck that two ball, that tells you how straight he was. Needs another good shot here, doesn't he? Yeah, but when he's had to l let the stroke out is when he's been at his best. You're right, JJ. That's another good shot. Purple five goes in the side, goes in the top right. That means... He's got such a big landing area. Yeah, it's all about no miss from here. Of course, the nerves are the nerves are going. Just trust what you what you see. Well, he's starting to hit more of the center of the pocket than he has the entire event. to really calculate punch just a little middle left English wrapping around the eight into the left side rail been a good performance this it really has it was a shaky quarter final match from Loho some Using the bridge, 
Got to make sure you hold that bridge still. He's done a good job. Yeah, a fine he, job. He recognized immediately he had used his extension. So went down for the crutch. High ball, powering this cue ball through. Off two rails, maybe one. Yeah, off the two. Uh, he's, the end of the he's got way more comfortable, Carl. Yes, it's going to be a good match. He's brought his game, he's relaxed. Great, great performance. This nine. It's there, Lolo Son. What a match. Trailed most of the match as well. Right at the end, he comes with a two-pack to beat Fachuski, seven racks to five.